Okay, another great feature that Facebook has is the ability for you to create a profile badge. If you scroll all the way down, this is really awesome. Here on the corner, it says create a profile badge. And again, I'm very sorry for the blurriness. It's the, the laptop and the camcorder interfacing. Okay, so you're gonna create a badge. If you're wondering what a badge is, a badge is for maybe something like your external blog like uh let's see like mine here is my my website wendycarillo.com and here is my profile badge you see okay here i am that's my picture at cnn so great um okay see this here facebook and it has my picture and my name and my status and the last three mobile pictures that i that i took with um my phone my blackberry one thing that I would recommend, get if you have a BlackBerry, get the BlackBerry application. Or if you have an iPhone, get the iPhone application. It's awesome. Okay, so getting back to your Facebook here. To create a badge, it's really simple. You just click on it, and it should take you here. See, it gives you all these options. It's so awesome. And it gives you the code. The code is right in here if you want to put it on and so it gives you more codes for myspace for blogger for additional sources and you could do a a photo badge a signature badge and a blog badge and all of them have very different features but once you're done with it then you know you can create it as as much information as you want or as little information as you want see i have my name, my status, my picture, and the last three pictures that I took. And that is what shows on my website. See? Pretty awesome. Um, and I use WordPress. WordPress is my, my blog, which is um, really easy to maneuver. I go to Appearances, and then Widgets, and it opens up all my little widgets. And I have a, a three-column blog. So it's on my first column to have, you know, you, I use um, uh, the, the text. See, I opened up my text and here is the HTML code for my profile badge that I just created on Facebook. Very easy. Okay. Now, for Twitter, here's another great thing about Twitter is that Twitter allows you to have an RSS feed. So when we go to my blog, uh, let's see, my blog, see this part here? It says, follow Wendy on Twitter, and my Twitter comes out. See how cool is that? Well, it has my latest Twitters, my, lit my latest tweets, I should say which was my last one, which I was creating video on Twitter. And then I had posted a previous one. It has like four or five. You could choose how many you want in your account once you're here in your, in your profile. And I go, this is my third one. Show. It should come up. There it is. See? RSS. Follow Wendy on Twitter, and it's right here on this side too, which I was able to add. See, add, add RSS feed right onto my blog. Great feature to use. So here on my blog, wendycarillo.com, not only do I have, you know, the homepage, the about me page, my multimedia page, but in my blog, which is the main, the main part, but I'm also able to have people link up to my Facebook. See? There it is. It's coming up. It's a little slow. Sorry about that. It's taking a little time to load. But the point is that you can automatically have people go onto your, your page through your these really cool features. And if they want to, they can also click on my latest tweets and get information. See, there it is. My tweets appear right there. 
very simple features that can make your blogging and your websites amazing features, amazing things for just people to follow you so that you're not overdoing it when it comes to all the social networks. It can be really, really exhausting. So great ways to just simplify the process. There you go.